Today was a great day uh, to start a 220 class. Uh, we got 15 uh, in this early signing period, and we're really excited. I think uh, we uh, filled every position need that we had coming in, uh, probably hit the number that we are looking at other than defensive back, and, and we'll continue to recruit here into the second signing period to, uh, to get the, the, the DBs that we need. But uh, thrilled with what we did, what our coaches did. They did a great job, built relationships, and uh, um, really proud of this class. Well, I think our guys do an excellent job. They um, go out in the spring, and we really start this process in the spring leading up to their senior year. Uh, we don't offer underclassmen. Uh, so we go out in the spring and, and compile names, and, and they got to be a, a, a Richmond fit. I mean, obviously they have to uh, – the academic component's a huge part of it at a place like Richmond. But we got to find great football players along with that. So, you know, when we go out in – um, and recruit, you know, in the spring, come back, uh, the evaluation process is long. Uh, you know, I, you know, whether it's an offense player, defensive player, uh, uh, you know, as soon as they feel like it's somebody that's a scholarship player, it comes to me, uh, and then and then we'll go make offers. Anybody that's questionable or we, we need some more uh, looks at, we try to get to camp. At that point in time, we get them here in the summertime, and uh, uh, and then and then really build relationships. Uh, you know, our coaches go out on the road and recruit and do a great job. And and, and I got to have a shout out to John Schroff, our recruiting coordinator, who does a really good job uh, as as far as managing the board. Uh, you know, uh, making decisions uh, where we're going to be, uh, when we're going to be there. Uh, and he evaluates, and, and he's a good evaluator of, of talent. So uh, between our, our, our assistant coaches and, and, and John and, and all, the, all the people that helped us were from faculty to, um, you know, it's important when the faculty speaks to them and career services and, and obviously Shannon and Bruce and the academic support, uh, they do a tremendous job uh, of helping us recruit these guys. And so it, it's a long process. For us, it starts in spring. Uh, going into their senior year and through the summer, and and uh, and uh, we got 15 that we really really like. No, not, not talking specifics, but you know, where this kind of set you up for the February signing period and any transfers you have possibly looking at. Well, we're we're still going to probably sign one or two more freshman defensive backs. Um, we've got guys on the board that we're going to continue to recruit that you know, have other things going. So we're going to have to recruit really hard uh, to land a, a couple of these guys. And then we'll probably take two transfers. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we, we have an idea of, of the transfers here in the next few days. Uh, but, um, you know, I think all told probably it'll be 19 new additions. Well, I'll start with uh, Jeremy Singleton because we've got his brother here and, and uh, we rec recruited his brother two years ago and, and as a true freshman started multiple games for us and did a great job. Now, he was hurt this year, but uh, uh, we loved his work ethic. Uh, the family's tremendous. And, um, you know, we, we identified Jeremy uh, uh, pretty early in the process and uh, – you know, he, he's around the program. He knows, um, you know, we can't hide anything from him, how his brother was being treated. Uh, uh, they see us coach every day. Um, so we're thrilled to have Jeremy, and we think he's going to be an excellent player for us. Uh, Josiah Williams out of uh, Thomas Dale, uh, we're really excited about that one. I, you know, he kind of turned into leader of the group uh, when they came in for an official visit. You can just see – um, the energy that he has, and uh, we were really, well, you know, the recruiting weekend we had probably 11 of our recruit our commitments in, and, and you can see he was really the leader, the vocal leader, 
a uh, lot of energy and a tremendous player. I mean, we are we are excited to have him. We think he'll be a big time, uh, you know, big time wide out uh, down the road. And then um, and then with Devin at Goochland, um, you know, Devin is a tremendous player. We saw him uh, here in the summertime um, in the seven on seven camp. Uh, in camp and uh, dynamic uh, playmaker on both sides of the ball from a great program uh, at Goochland. They've won a lot of games. Uh, a lot of it was because of him here in the last three or four years. Uh, and he's going to play defensive back for us. We think he can play corner, uh, but for sure safety. And uh, uh, love the kid. Uh, and I think he's going to be a tremendous player for us. Yeah, I mean, this was the first year that we weren't out there hunting, you know, five or six offensive linemen. And, and you know, we finally got it, you know, by signing two, you know, we pro finally got it to 13 scholarship players, which we haven't even been close to. And, uh, you know, we signed two tight ends. Obviously, that's a position of need for us. We're thrilled about the two that we got. Uh, we're going to take a back running back, which we, we got. It's a high school quarterback. Um, and then uh, uh, one quarterback uh, who we identified pretty early in the process. Um, and uh, so, you know, we filled position needs and then two wide outs. So we, hit our, we, hit, we actually hit our numbers in every position other than defensive back. We took three linebackers. And then two defensive linemen, and we had uh, identified four defensive backs. We got two in this one. Uh, so we were close to hitting everything we needed to in, in the early signing period.